G'day everybody, Simon here, Explosive Action and I have just come back from a video store closing down sale and I've not done too bad, I could have gone insane but um, I held back and thankfully a lot of the good stuff I already have um, if my collection wasn't what it is now I think I would have bought over a hundred discs easily um, so let's just go through these uh, one and only Blu-ray happy about is the new Jason Statham film Safe. Uh, thankfully all these stickers will come off there on the outside. Um, really looking forward to checking out Safe. It's had uh, really really good reviews and I'm a big Statham fan. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to checking out Safe and um, $12.95 instead of the usual, I think it's about $35 brand new. Blu-rays cost too much brand new out here so uh, yep, good price for Safe picked up The Woman on uh, Monster Films, which is good. Uh, that was five bucks. Heard many, many, many good things about this one. Quite a brutal film, apparently. That's The Woman. Picked up The Arena. This is cheesy fun. I quite like this. I love the grin that Samuel Jackson's doing there. He plays a bad guy in this, and this other guy here... Uh, Kellen Lutz, I don't know. He's alright. Basically it's a uh, fight for your life tournament f film, you know, there's millions of those things. Um, like, uh, what's one of the big ones? Um, American Samurai, something like that. Um, yeah, good fun. So happy to have the DVD of that, having only rented it before. Shoot the Hero, taking a punt on this, but um, I'm sold with uh, Jason Mewes, Danny Trejo and Fred Williamson. Now that's that's a cast. It's an action comedy. Reviews are not that bad. Um, and for the price I paid, I'll give it a go. Oh dear. <laughs> Titanic 2. The asylum film that was apparently seen on TV. Bullshit. Um, yeah, I've been really wanting to check out how bad this is for a while. Um, but... Um, majority of Asylum films here are put out by um, Peacock and their stuff only comes out rental, you can't buy it, you have to wait for an X rental and I never found one before but uh, yes for four dollars I can now watch Titanic 2 Moscow Heat looks interesting, Russian action film, number three in Russian box office whatever um, Vengeance is only the beginning, looks kinda good I think it's in English Oh, Andrew Divoff, he's good. Michael York, he's uh, starring in this apparently. So, yeah, Moscow Heat. Looks good. Don't know anything about this one. Samurai Avenger, the blind wolf. No honor, no mercy, revenge is blind. You got your Tarantino in my Kurosawa. Yeah. Okay, so I think you get the idea of this one. It's a grindhousey um, samurai film. Yeah, it could be fun. I'll give it a go. Uh, Colboss, isn't it? Still sticker of it. Colobos, a uh, Spanish film, I think. Uh, only a full screen transfer. I'm not sure if there is a widescreen edition of this um, old Magna Pacific title. Um, I read a few good things about this one. Colobos. If anyone's seen it, do let me know what you thought. Ah, Firestarter. One of those gaps in my collection. Don't know why I didn't have it. Good little film. Nothing much more needs to be said. Firestarter. Pumpkinhead Blood Feud. Uh, this is number three, I think. Um, really happy to find the Australian DVD. I didn't think it existed. At every X rental sale, you'll always find part four, Ashes to Ashes. It's guaranteed. There must have been a billion copies. Anytime there's an X rental sale, there's a copy of that. I've never seen this ever. So... Yep, I'm happy to get that. Even if it's not going to be that good, it's still Lance Henriksen and it's still Pumpkinhead. Oop, finger over the lens. Warnings. You can feel the fear. Yeah, Stephen Baldwin, Billy Zane, whatever. This is going to be some alien film. Sci-fi channel, uh, one of the earlier ones, I think. Could be fun. Survival of the Dead, uh, the last in the uh, Romero films. I've not seen this one. This follows Diary of the Dead. 
Yeah, not meant to be that good, but whatever. For the price, it's about time I checked it out. Horrible way to die. I've heard a few good things about this one. Portrait of insanity that is chilling. Should be good fun. Oh, this looks trashy. Solar Attack. Look at this. We got Mark Dacascus. I uh, don't know who that is. And Lewitt Gossett Jr. Look at that. Can't say no to that. I do like these bloody worlds coming to an end. Dacascus has to save it one second to go before the meteorite hits. That kind of shit. Oh, they're just fun. So bad they're fun. Shaft. Why was my collection missing Shaft? I don't know. But now it's not. I now have Shaft. And I also have Shaft's Big Score which is the sequel. I think there's Shaft in Africa, which I've not seen either. Never seen the Shaft films. I don't know how I've gotten this far without having seen them. Uh, red, white and blue. Really happy to get this one. Um, yeah, meant to be uh, pretty full on. But uh, it's supposed to be very good. So uh, if anyone's seen this one, do comment. And lastly, Combat Shock. Wow, that's a brutal film here. 25th anniversary edition. A very violent trauma. And that is my little haul. So that was a pretty good pick up there. I think I paid about 70 bucks for all that, which I'm very happy with. So um, this is sort of a part two of my X Rentals pickup video. I actually went back and got more. Uh, but there's also been a couple of things that came in the post. Uh, on the top of the pile here that I'll quickly run through so let's just uh, get cracking on that and you can see here on top the brand new Evil Dead Steelbook uh, UK release very cheap like 10 pounds or something very cheap great art sort of working on the classic theme art interesting drawing on the back classic uh, pit demon and the disc itself. Blu-ray transfer of course, I haven't checked it out yet. It does claim that it's the uh, widescreen version which, uh, yeah, controversy, but um, I've actually never seen it cut to widescreen so uh, that'll be interesting. Um, very non-horror but uh, E.T. kids classic. One I grew up with and this is the UK Steelbook again. Nice art on the back. Oh, geez, they're hard to open one-handed. Nah, that one's tough. I can't get into it. Oh, well, E.T. Very cool. Good thing about that is uh, they removed all the uh, enhancements made during the DVD. So uh, Spielberg did good. Lucas does bad. War Games. And I watched it the second it arrived. So happy to get this one. Um, one of my favorite movies from the 80s. Classic stuff. Um, the DVD I've had for well over a decade, uh, non-anamorphic widescreen, incredibly grainy, and putting this on is just a breath of fresh air. Uh, so very, uh, some interesting little features, uh, featurettes on the end, which I watched as well, making ofs and uh, some old footage from um, back when they were filming it and you know laughing around on set. So that was kind of nice to see. Uh, War Games, one of my favourites arrived in the post today, Red Faction Origins. Um, I enjoyed the Red Faction game and not that that particularly bothers me um, or influences me really but it's a sci-fi channel film and one of the better ones I'm led to believe so Red Faction looks pretty cool to me. And now we're on to the X Rentals uh, Take 2 pile and I've got a Blu-ray. Uh, Don't be afraid of the dark. Um, I wasn't going to get this but um, Andrew Ballina raves on about it, so uh, for the price I paid, which was only a tenner, um, I will give it a go. It's the film with uh, Katie Holmes, but um, I won't hold that against him. Uh, we'll give it a go and see how it is. Oh, happy to find this. Really hard to bloody find. Hunt for Eagle One Crash Point, the sequel to uh, the original Hunt for Eagle One. Uh, one of the very last Serio Santiago films uh, before he died. Uh, with Mark Dacascus. This sequel uh, is pretty hard to find out here. I'm pretty sure they never had retail uh, sales, they were just rentals, so 
I found the first X Rental and finally found the sequel. X Rental, very happy. This looks trash tastic. Special Ops with um, some guy called AJ Draven, Stephen Bauer. People you've never heard of, whatever. He's looking a bit Gary Daniels there, I've got to say. Special Ops. It looks up my alley. And the reviews weren't terrible, which is the best I could do in the shop at the time. Ah oh dear, a B classic that I've managed to never see. Cherry 2000 with Melanie Griffith. Um, a uh, post apoc film, I'm led to believe. Post, what? post Mad Max, well, it's the same shit, isn't it? Um, should be interesting, Cherry 2000. If you've seen it, let me know how it is. Took a gamble on this, because uh, all these are four bucks, so whatever. Vlog, video log. Um, modern slasher, modern horror. Um, extreme horror. Hmm, about webcam girls. Well, there you go. Might be alright. Might be shy. Uh, the Red Siren. It looks like an interesting thriller, and it's got a young Asia Argento in it, um, which uh, in intrigued me. Old release, AV Channel. I don't even think they exist anymore. They became Madman, I'm pretty sure. Um, but uh, yeah, this looks pretty interesting. Explosive action in a brilliant new, thrill brilliant new thriller, blah blah blah. Anyway, Red Siren. This could be fun. Deadland. A uh, action uh, in a post apoc future. One of the more modern ones. A kick ass action hero. Uh -huh. Deadland. This one I got for the wife, uh, the Phantom Sci Fi Channel remake. She quite enjoyed it. Man, it was cheap. This looks really cool. Uh, Wasabi, a Jean Reno film uh, directed by. Was well, it directed by? But it's almost definitely a Luc Besson film. Um, produced by Luc Besson, um, which is always a win for me. And the reviews I read in the shop seem to indicate this is very good. So, um, French thriller in English, is it? I oh, know, French and English, so I imagine it's meant to be French. Uh, so, really excited actually to check out Wasabi. Oh, some trash. Shadow Boxer. Uh, I remember when Cuba Gooding Jr. used to do good movies? No, I don't either, but anyway. Shadow Boxer. This would be rubbish, but, uh, you know, I don't mind his rubbish. I didn't mind, um, oh, nah, see, I can't even remember the names. They do all blur together. Some of his recent ones have been, you know, watchable fun. And the last one is an early sci-fi channel film, Control Factor. I don't know, some science fiction rubbish. That's the best you get out of me. And that's the update. See ya.